hello guys and welcome back to my channel and in this video tutorial i'm going to be showing you how you can design a real estate website on wordpress this is going to be a very interesting tutorial and you might want to get your book and pen because this is going to be a very very long ride the crazy thing about what we're about to design is we are going to be using free tools like wordpress cms platform we are going to be using astra which is a free wordpress team and we are not going to be spending a dime to get the design up front we are going to be getting our web hosting and domain from one of the best web hosting platform known as upspeedos.com i'm going to be walking you through the process from the installation of the wordpress to the design and to the setup you are going to love this right on my screen you can see example of real estate website and this is exactly the kind of design we are going to be having and if you know you love this video content and you like to see more videos like this make sure you hit a like on my video and in the comment section just say i subscribe don't forget to subscribe to my channel and if you are subscribing for the first time just say i subscribe and i have a free gift for you thank you all right so here you can see my screen and we're going to be doing everything together step by step so the first thing we need to do is to purchase our hosting and domain and to do that we are going to be using a site known as upspeedhost.com i'm just going to open it real quick so we can start a fresh account and make the purchase so it's upspeedhost upspeedhost.com.ng which is where we are going to be making the domain it is one of the best place where you can get hosting and domain for your project and you can see they have hosting plants you can see they have the wordpress hosting shared hosting knowledge base and everything i'm going to be walking you through the process so you can actually just get started really simple it is a very simple website where you can get everything you want and everything you need so what i need you to do is just actually to scroll to the top here and look for the domain prices so here we are first going to search for a domain and the domain name is a name that is going to be used to actually identify our brand so let's say i want to use something like greg greg.com of course it's not going to be available so i just need to click on go right now and it's going to take me to the shopping cart and you can see it is searching to check if it's available so you can see it is unavailable so unavailable is for the greg.com so i can check greg.com.ng or i can look for um greg.ng or greg.org.ng so let's say i just want to pick uh, greg.com.ng so i just need to click on add to cart you can actually make your choice so you can see i click on the checkout button right here so here you can see i don't have a hosting package and hosting package is actually where your files are going to be kept we need to purchase them so just real quick i'm going to select the dns management and i'll select the email forwarding now you can see i don't have a hosting there so i'm just going to click on no hosting and it's going to prompt me to select the plants you can actually uh beat around the bush and just come to this store here and click on the wordpress hosting or shared hosting plan but i'll just go with the shared hosting plan right now but since we want to do wordpress let's just try and make it simple click on categories here then click on wordpress hosting so here are the wordpress plans that are available you can start with the one of just 1000 era per month this one is very very affordable and you have five gigabyte space let me tell you what you need to look out for make sure you go for a site that gives you unlimited bandwidth because when your traffic start trooping into the site when it is not enough you're going to be facing things like downtime you can see one hostel domain is enough we don't need much we are just building a single project and see panel access this is very very important before purchasing our hosting and that's why i recommend upspeedos.com so just click on the order now button and you can see that it has selected and it's asking you to use a domain that is already on your shopping cart i have greg.com.ng you can recall i selected it at the top there so i just click on use or if i don't have a domain i'll need to register or transfer domain or use an existing domain so all i need to do now is just to click on use because that's what i want to use for the project so you can see i have the five gigabyte space unlimited bandwidth one hosted domain 24 hours technical support every single thing i need and you can see is monthly you can actually look for quarterly annually or semi-annually but i'll just do monthly for now but if you want to go for a yearly plan you can go for a yearly plan so i'll just click on continue 
and you can see how simple it is to purchase it now you can see now it has hosting plan so click on dns management click on email forwarding then click on continue so this is the first stage the first stage is purchasing the hosting and domain and you can see the total my domain name i'm paying 1700 naira for .com.ng which is very affordable and i'm just paying 1000 naira to get my web wordpress plan for a month so i just need to click on checkout and this is the final page you need to fill in your details your name your last name i can just use my name here my location you can see make sure you fill your uh, contact use your you see account password confirm your password then you can see the bank transfer this is just the ending side join our mailing list of course yes then click on complete order you understand so when you click on complete order you're going to get the uh your plan and it's going to be ready for the work you want to do but in my case i already have a plan set up that i want to use so i don't need to buy a new plan or anything so this is just the simple setup which is the first stage which is purchasing your hosting and domain so let's move to the next stage all right so like i said i already have a plan so i'm not going to be buying a new plan again i don't need to spend money on that all i need to do is just to scroll down here and this is my c panel because i've already purchased that hosting so you can see i have the domain jsax.xyz but nothing is installed on it right now so what i want to do is to install wordpress on it which is the most important thing but before i do that i need to upgrade my php version and i want to set some uh, top settings so that i don't get problem there so i'll just come to the search icon here then i click on php now you can see my php multi php uh, edition peer packages select php version click on that because we want to select the version to the highest version that is going to fit what we want to do this is not actually mandatory but in some cases you can see i'm in 8.1 which is the highest version here so i don't need to do anything here nothing needs to be done on my end it is already in the highest version you just need to select it and select the one you want so now that i'm in the highest version which is good i'm just going to scroll back then i'm going to go set up something i go to php.ini again this is a very important setup you must do before you start the project so that you don't start facing issue select the location i need to select the domain that i want to work on so this is the domain directory so you can see this you need to change this to 128 which is the upload max file you might actually be facing this error and if you're facing this error there's a video tutorial that i did i'm just going to tag it right here so just check out the video and learn how to actually increase your max file size when you get into that kind of problem so here i have 28 which is very small so i just need to add 112 and i'm going to add it at the back i want to make it bigger so that i can upload large files so i just add 128 this one is the postmark size i want it to be more than this 128 128 uh these have 60 sometimes they increase this to 360 but it's not really mandatory not really important let's just scroll down and that is all make this 128 128 128 so that that is the most important thing you need to do there then you click on apply so you can see it has been successfully applied in the settings so now i'm going to go to the next stage which is installation of wordpress so i just need to search for wordpress so you can see how simple it is to get everything you want to do so we are going to be installing wordpress together from scratch from scratch so um i need to scroll to the bottom then i'll click on install i don't have wordpress installed on this domain so i'm doing it afresh now make sure you clear this folder wp folder or else it is going to be installed in the folder and we don't want to do that so these are the most important part and i'm just going to pause this because this is like the main settings uh but let's just let's just do it together anyway so i just say this is my blog i can just call it my real estate blog or you know what will happen let's not just beat around the bush let us try and you know generate uh, a good name business name generator let's search for it i think there's something like that just a business business name generator look at it just click on this there's actually be yeah on shopify so here we can just use it to generate an idea and craft an idea of what we want so it is a real estate website so so we can just say real estate which is actually what we want to do so you can see real estate pit real estate like real estate syndicate 
real estate visual i can just actually select this real estate real estate visual so okay so we've already seen what we want actually all we needed was just the name so let's just go back real estate visual so i'm just going to use that just a real estate state sorry real estate visuals that's the name of the blog so i just copy this come here let's say or i just say it's a real estate website just remove this visual i clear this it's a real estate website my admin i'm just going to use my email here my normal email yeah scroll down uh backup yeah you can leave this all these are not really important just click on classic editor on file manager you can leave this uh the theme don't select any team yet we are going to be using our own team so i'm going to click on install and you can see the installation i've started so okay we have some error installation because the following file already exists please delete this so you can see this is actually an error so i need to go back to my c panel i click on open a new link and we need to locate the file manager because the settings is actually coming from the file manager click on the public.html folder in this side leave this um you need to go to some settings here so that we can see eden files so i click on the settings then i click on show eden dot files then i click on save so what they are telling me is this is already there i need to clean this so i just need to delete the reason is because i might have installed this before so i'm not just installing it for the first time so click on confirm so i've deleted it so i go back to my wordpress i you know confirm everything i did then let's start again and let's see if the error is going to prompt okay so you can see that i've already fixed it and this wordpress has been successfully installed guys congratulations this is the first stage and you can see that we are actually doing a lot this is our email telling us that wordpress was successfully installed the next thing we need to do is to log into the admin panel so i just need to click on this jsax.xyz slash wp admin and this is going to take me to the wordpress admin panel where the main work starts we can close this because we are true we don't need to do anything in the c panel for now is available so click on update just you know for the reference update to version 6.2 so i can close this i've generated my business name thank you so you can see that the update is currently in progress so all we need to do is to wait for this to actually update so we can move to the next stage all right so here is our wordpress dashboard where we are going to be running the design so before we proceed the first thing we need to do is to install a team that fits and that's going to do what we want to do so what we need to do is head over to appearance then click on themes now in the team section you can see i need to update this but that's not what i'm here for just click on add new so in the add new section we are going to be looking for a team that is very very flexible and i highly recommend this team because it is very easy to use it is known as astra you can see it actually loading here so all i need to do just now is to click on install so we are going to install astra team and we are going to use it to do this setup before we actually install the other plugins we are going to be using to work once you're done installing the astra team the next thing you need to do is to activate it all you need to do is click on activate and then now we want to start the main design so head over to this section on your wordpress then click on starter template you can see so click on starter template and here we are going to be using pre-made template that has already been designed that's going to make our work very very easy all right so now we have the startup template activated and now we are going to be looking for um, e-commerce agency okay they want us to just click on get started so here when we click on get started click on build your website now it is very easy all right so we want to choose what we are going to be using to do this design now for you to be able to do this effectively you need some plugins like elementor pro you need elementor pro so you might want to purchase elementor pro and i might actually be giving it out for free in my comment section that is just actually a gift so let me proceed so i'm going to click on elementor so that means it is going to install elementor 
so now you can see the starter template they are very very nice and very simple and we want to build a real estate website so we can just actually come to the top here and search for something that fits what we want to do if you click it is not a blog you say a local business you can look for it and you can see car garage agency um landing pages manufacturing you can see the real estate here so all you need to do is click on real estate this is actually making our work very very simple and the thing is we are not actually paying for it okay so let's proceed scrolling down we can see some samples and these are the premium versions you don't actually need to pay for premium you can get the free version and it's going to do the work for you i think i like this roofing agency or oh, let me just scroll down you can see real estate agency here real estate consultant construction company all we want is something that we can actually edit so let's just click on this roofing agency so you can see how simple it is to work with astra team i'm not paying a dime and i'm getting everything ready so you can see that this actually fits what we want to do all we need to do is to lay our samples at this section so that people can actually see what we are doing so you can see it is so simple and it is giving us exactly what we want or if you don't want that you can just go back and choose any other thing but i'll actually recommend this so this is actually a roofing agency it's not our problem so now we need to select a logo i don't actually know if i have a logo but let me see if i have a logo i can just choose okay let me just use this because i'm just using it for demonstration if i click you're gonna see my logo here i can actually resize the logo that's one of the advantage but make sure you use a nice logo don't use wordpress of course you wouldn't do that so just scroll down i want it to be like this then i click on continue now they are asking me to pick a color i think this color is nice but let me see if i can actually paint it a bit all right so i think this is very very good this color is very very nice and then all i need to do scroll down i can change the front too if i don't like this front i can just actually switch to any front that fits then i click on continue so here you're just going to fill in your details i'm just going to use my details real simple beginner then i click on agree to terms and condition import we get import plugin submit and build my site so now you can see that the building has already started this is so awesome guys we have already started the project real quick by just installing a few plugins so you can see how easy it is even using astra to build your design so now i'm going to wait for this to load to the finish and then when it's done i'm going to be back and we can actually proceed with the design all right so we are done with the installation and you can see it took 1.57 minutes so all you need to do is click on view your website and they are going to take us to the word front end and you can see that we've already started the design and you can see that we have elementor here edit with elementor which we can use to do a lot of work the forms and all of those we can check the home key you know clicking the home key we can look at what the home looks like all we need to do is to edit this and make it fit what we want you understand and there are places where we're going to be getting um free images that we can actually use uh for the design so <clears throat> you can see some other pages here book a call and all of this all of this so what we need to do now is to head over to our dashboard where we are going to be doing the main work okay so right now we need to locate the dashboard to do that just head over to this section here then click on dashboard the reason why we are coming here is we want to install what we are going to be using to work those are some plugins that are highly important so we click on the plugin section then click on add new plugins so we are going to get uh, access to the available plugins that we can actually use to work well let's just see the one that's going to do well we have the classic install we have jetpack click on classic we get um scroll down let's see what other plugins is important uh let's keep start searching we need to install an seo plugin but not really important because we might not talk about that in this just type on used and you can see used seo click on install we don't need light k cache because um up speed os they give us the fastest speed we need for our website to run all right so let's see what other plugins are really really important that we're going to install we are going to install a payment plugin yeah we're gonna do or we can actually use bank transfer for now so now we need to locate a plugin that we can use to do the main work is actually a listing plugin so we can just click on listing and when it comes up if we see what we want we are going to select it so now you can see them here directories by wordpress business directory plugin 
so click on install this is the directory program we are going to use to build the listing website it is highly important that you install this if you really want to run the design okay so now I have the directories wordpress business plugin installed the next thing i need to do is to click on activate the reason why we need to do this is this is actually the plugin that is going to be doing the main work and you can see welcome to the word directories plugin this is a directory plugin the reason why we are using this is we can allow people to actually list on our website and you know sell just like the real estate business stuff so all we need to do now is click on let's go and we are going to be setting everything together from the beginning to the end so i want you to pay attention so you can see add listing all listing single category tag search result let's allow all these because all these sections are actually important so we click on continue make sure you don't skip any step open street map enabling monetization feature means people are going to pay to list so here you can actually write any amount you want them to pay before they start actually reselling their real estate business here you can actually fix any price you want let's say i want everybody to pay 50 dollars to list on my website then i click on continue so just make sure you follow the step number of listing yes import images of course i want images to be imported so i'll click on continue all right so we are done with the design and you can see directory step one step two step three is complete just make sure you follow suit and follow the order so you don't make mistake so now we are done we can create our first listing now a real estate website is just like a listing website where people you know promote their services where you can you know show people that you're actually selling houses the advantage of using this plugin is you can allow your customers or turn it to a marketplace where people can actually sell their own product to and you make an earning for it so just click on visit your directory dashboard and here we are going to be running some complex settings you understand so here you can see the settings by my uh this is my left so by my left you can see the settings here reviews tags categories location all you need to do is click on settings and in the settings you can actually earn what you want okay you can see enable multi-directory send okay so you can build another directory which is below the main directory website but not really important so i'm just gonna are you sure yes i'm damn sure i want to take this off so um renewal reminder trash gets guest listing submission so what you're saying is guests can actually submit without creating an account that's the meaning of uh, enabling that feature show category yes display email yes make sure you are saving everything you're doing so here i click on save changes my changes is saved successfully i move to the next stage item found filter tags reset apply a to z don't worry we're going to do everything actually on uh, elementor so i'm going to install my elementor pro plugin but before that let us see single listing view restrict single okay yeah you have to be logged in listing directory or we can change the name you understand you can change it to real estate or whatever we want show submission confirmation yes publish show slider image 70 times 40 auto email click on save changes head back here where are we location and category you actually need google map to actually set this section okay okay we're not there yet you can actually leave all these the way they were don't need to change anything here now here you can select your currency so if i don't want to use uh usd i can just change it to ngn you know use the you know you can see after or before so i can change this to ngn if i want to use nigeria but let's use usd which is the one that actually came with it so i just delete and i type in usd scroll to the bottom click on save changes make sure you're saving everything you're doing now the map you need to have a google map if you want to do this you can see the google map but you need your api key and you can't get that if you don't actually set it up so that might be complex level for me i just recommend you leave that blank the review enable review allow guests to review no they need to actually buy something enable reply yes allow users to reply their reviews onto another one well you can if you don't want it to be spammy you can just you know now this is the page setup so you can see everything dashboard here you don't actually need to do anything just leave it the way it was 
so if you have issue with the pages you can actually regenerate them the search icon make sure you leave it blank display popular categories browse popular categories search page background uh just leave it you can actually put an image here but i don't want that i don't want it looking too so here is the user username enable password yes this is for the people that are going to be working with you you can let them have their websites that they add their website to when they are actually listing on your site they need to have the first name it is required the last name is required uh, auto bio is required they need to like fill a bio user type of registration work yeah it is good you can actually select agree to terms agree to all time up sign up mm, let's see auto login yes just log them on after they've created an account then click on the save changes so that change is saved we save that now the login form you can just leave this blank no nothing to be done on your end profile uh i would rather leave this blank all authors i rather leave this blank email okay this is actually my own email disable all email notification you want them to actually get email notification listing review you want people to you know, know when the uh, review is actually dropped monetization so you can sell listing plans you no know, pricing plan extension okay they need you to install but you can actually do that just using your uh, okay you might need to go for an upgrade actually so this is the price i charge for people to list for 30 days you can change this it's a real estate business so it's just like okay let them use my website to advertise what they are selling so i can actually give them that uh access okay let me see um gateway settings you can see i uh, said bank transfer which is the best way so bank transfer is actually the best way i'm still going to show you where you're going to set it offline okay so you can see enter your account name so here you're going to fill in your account details so people can pay into it directly to your bank the access you get for using this plugin <coughs> is bank transfer for now unless you upgrade then you can get access to other more complex features so here you need to fill in your bank name your account number and your details personalization is like for the design section you can use their own templates whatever they just you can play around with that the color i'll just leave that blank extensions of course i'm going to pay for them i'm not ready tools uh leave it that blank listing you can actually import some listings or export them so this way you can save your data and you can have a backup so that you don't lose your file if anything actually happens to your website so make sure you come here around the export it's just a simple way of having a backup file now close down to the settings you can restore defaults you can import you can export advanced future um don't actually this is seo aspect actually so if you fill in this side you're going to be getting the seo search engine optimization settings you know so now i think we are actually ready for the design and you know let's actually go and check whether some pages were installed so i just click on all pages i want to see if the pages were actually created for me okay so i'm just scrolling down and i'm looking for you can see all listings so let's click on view to see if actually something happened or it was skipped oh it was skipped so that means you're going to be doing the listing by yourself so let's head over to our home page and you can see that we have a lot of work to do here we've done the stage two which is the installation of the directory plugin and setting it up although with time there might still be some complex setup we'll still have to put up with but with this you can actually see that we are starting the work so now we are going to be installing elementor pro which is a plugin that we are going to use up because using the real elementor we are limited to actually what we can edit and this is an example of a real estate website all we want to do is just to edit it and make it fit what we want all right so now that i've installed my elementor pro and i've activated the plugin which is what i'm going to be using to do most of the work the next thing i need to do now is to click on edit with elementor and this might take a lot of time to load so you have to be patient with it now this is the plugin that is actually going to do most of the work i remember this is what we are trying to replicate 
so while it loads we might take time to look at the designs and see what we want to do because of our time and i would like to take much of our time i will actually be replicating all this on the new site all right so my elemental is loaded now and by my right you can see the navigation settings and every single section counts every single section can be edited real quick so i'm just going to be doing running some small tweaks and real quick i'll show you a little bit about the elemental dashboard setup we might need to create another video tutorial that's going to talk about the elemental dashboard setup actually but this is the simple thing about it elemental is a drag and drop page builder which means i can edit every single element on the website you understand so for me to edit this i just need to copy and delete and put whatever i want you understand so you can see we are commercial at roofing expert and i just head over to the site we want to hack and i just copy this guys don't do this this is just for educational purposes all right so i'm just gonna edit this then okay this is where it is then i'm going to like paste so you can see find a home that suits your we can close this your lifestyle so roofing properties okay 24 hours let's clear this this looks not is not basically important so i'm just gonna delete this element so here the number they want us to call you can just edit this and add your own number okay so your number is 98765 whatever you want so here it will be easy for people to reach out to you so you can see a quick service send inspection request no we don't need this so to cancel it i just click on cancel you can see how simple it is now about our company um the about us should be about us actually about us so let's just you know copy all these and just replicate it on the site uh let's see they said this so i'm just gonna edit this section okay so this section then i paste professional no that's not what you're actually doing just say real let me say real let me say real properties t i e s so um for those seeking blah 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 so this side i want it to be mine so i'm going to like change every single thing that has been added there every single thing to be mine so you can see that with elementor it is very very easy i'm just copying and pasting what i want a certified company yes now this is not the image i want i want another image i don't want this image because this image doesn't speak well of what i do so i'll just head over to my gallery and you know start checking out images that i want okay i like say i want this i select so you can see it is changing okay so um this particular image I can like change it to what I want. I want this to so select. So you can see everything is certified company. This read more, you can actually put your link that is linking to your own page. This is my own page, jsax.xyz. I want it to be when they click it, they land on my website uh, link. So I'm just gonna paste. So you can see very, very easy. Here we can change every single thing here. Any element that is editable will be editable. We provide superior, change it to what you want, real estate properties, P-R-O-P-E-R-T-I-E-S. So you can see, so all these images should be ours all right so let me upload fresh images it will just it shouldn't look like i'm just like copying and pasting them here i have like a lot of images here let me see can i copy more than one yep and i click open nice so i have a lot of images that i can actually use to cover every single section of the video so we cover every i have an image that can be used to cover every single section of the website which is actually what i want now all the images are selected so i want to like nope i'm not selecting them all i want just one image to be used which is this right or uh, let's say okay this this is nice so select so you can see it changed drastically immediately so here i can like talk a bit about this and say this is like a particular house i can just say canada 
Canada property. Nice. So it is not roof installations. We all know you can just say, let's put our prices just the same way they did. Uh, can we find a signal for USD here? Um, let me see. Uh, let's type. Let's try this. Oops. Put anything there. <laughs> but you can just, you know, you know, just play around, you know. This image, I want it to be my image. So I head over to my media and I select again. You can see, I just keep changing the images to what I want. Okay, guys, so I'm going to continue with the design right now. Um, here we can... Okay, so we can actually correct this and put any price, like I said. Just make sure you play around with it. There's no time for that, actually, because... We are just actually you know running the design so you know how easy it is to change an image all you need to click is the object and it is going to be highlighted here in um elementor pro then i can just select it and pick any of the file that i've uploaded that i want to use to fit that particular space so let's say i want to use something like this so i just need to click on it and then i click on select and you can see how fast it has changed so that's what you're going to replicate on other part of the website so i can just head over to where i'm you know getting details from and i say okay our story then i copy this okay copy and then i go back to my elementor pro and i say all these i want to change every single thing here you can see the description here so i just click on paste so you can see so i'm going to change this this is our story i'm going to cut it up here and come to this side we also offer okay I edit this side then <laughs> all right so you can see how simple it is i can like change anything all right if i delete it it's not going to be there all these things are just tags i'm still going to create video tutorial on how to use elementor actually so for me to edit this uh, image i just need to click on it right now and you can see choose any image that fits what i want i said i want something like this select and you can see how fast and how simple it is all right so here i can like change everything and say okay people say things that are nicest this is not my director i can just delete the whole element if i say i don't want this element all i need to do is click on that button you can see and that's it i just click on it and here i can like delete you know just right clicking on my mouse i click on delete i delete that section it means that section is not important to me so that is all about the elemental setup so all you need to do is head over to the other pages and replicate the same thing like your about us your contact us page you just replicate what we did just now so you can see that the design is very simple so let's say we want to like um, show the listing on the front end which is the most important thing and we need a space so we just need to look for a space there click on this and say okay let's say let's see we can actually duplicate this if we press duplicate it should like become to ah good then i say okay in this side that is duplicated i want to put something else there so let me delete these sections actually all these sections i want to delete them so i want to add something here and i don't want these ones there so so uh -huh, good let me add space just look for a spacer okay the spacer should be somewhere before it uh -huh, good so there's a space here so i just need to search for um the element i want to add and they are called listings listings okay so you can see all listings and listing categories so i just click on all listings okay so i drag this and i drop just look at what i'm doing drag and drop drag and drop in any section so once i drag it wow you can see you can see how beautiful it is so this is the listings okay so you can see two listings found so here are the listings that people are actually uh promoting on the site right now can see how easy it is okay so i can change it if i said i want list view aha uh -huh, i think this would do just fine it looks exactly like this uh, website kind of design 
so you can see listing view so let's say i want to add a heading here i just this is title i just drag it and i put it at the top here and then okay they said i should add something and i just type in uh properties yes properties okay and i want it to be in the center aligned in the center and then i want to use h2 h2 is not bad the size should be default and let's go to styling because i want to make this uh, the text color is kind of odd i want it to be visible can we make it white nope it's let me pull this around here. drag this console here aha uh -huh. i want it to be white so it can be obvious uh, you can actually choose anything you want actually so now we've displayed the listing on the front end let's say we want to add more sections like people to perform more uh more work than that okay so we are just gonna add a space here between these two so go back and look for my spacer and here's my spacer and i just drag it somewhere here i want oh sorry not there actually um let me look for it again spacer should be at the top here aha uh -huh. then i want the space to be more so there's a space here so let me look for listings again the, that is the work of the directory listings actually so i just search for listing and you see the form all listing icon list um, listing categories let's search for the directory itself let's see okay we are not seeing it though okay um all right let's just call it listing there then there should be a place where we can add okay add listing form listing categories okay let's see what this does so we just need to drag this and drop it anywhere okay so here people can just list aha uh -huh, nice on the front end you want people to actually just list like that you can see everything image and all of this but i don't think this is going to be a nice design Claire, let's just like take it out i don't think it's going to be nice that uh, let let's, let's delete this shifter this is actually okay but we can create a fresh page there's actually a page so we just need to link them to the back end so it will be easy uh for the people to locate it okay so all we need to do is just to add the important menu in the section and that's what we're going to be doing next so click on update to save this all right guys so we are at the final stage of the design and we want to work on the menu so that it can actually appear uh, very well on the front end so firstly you need to make sure you gain access to the dashboard and then scroll to the bottom then locate appearance then click on menu we want to make sure that the pages that have been created are available on the front end so that people can easily access the site this is the home key this is the about or services project all these are things we can actually you know edit you know remove just the same way we can access this section is very easy the contact us but what we want to add this is a primary menu so what we want to add is um some pages like uh, uh, leading people to um the plugin so let's say view all i'm looking for the uh, listing plugins that is going to show okay you can see all listings all categories and all locations then just click on this add to menu and then it is going to be added to the menu so we can actually change the title and call them properties but we just want to say it is a listing site so you can change this and do whatever you want you can play around with this you understand so you can just play around with this so once you're done all you need to do is click on uh, save menu and when you click on that it is going to save and now it is going to be effective on the front end so let me just right click this and open this in new tab and look at my design so you can see we have the home about us services contact us so everything is working effectively so we can actually change all this i've showed you how to set up uh the uh this setup so it is very easy you can just edit this with your elementor so 
if we click on uh, all listings which is actually the most important things you can see these are the uh, listings that have been made so these are the available properties people can you know place order so you can see how simple it is all right so you can see how simple it is then if you click on all locations people can see different locations you understand so all the settings you've actually done on your um on your plugin your listing plugin is going to be effective here remember this website is a kind of website where we allow people to as a real estate website but we allow people to you know sell their own product and services also so this is very very nice and with this i believe that you now understand the full concept of how to design a real estate website so thank you so much for your time in more video tutorials i'll be creating more video tutorials on how to edit with Elementor and how to edit with Astra because Astra might be a very complex team if you don't actually know much about it. Like this book a course section, we can actually edit this to whatever we want, which is the most simplest thing. But okay, because of our time, let's see if we can actually do that right now. So let's say we want to change this uh, book a call uh, settings. We want to make it what we want. All we need to do is click on customize button right here and it is going to load and we'll be able to edit that particular section the customize button is used for some kind of settings that you know you can't actually edit on the um, using elementor using the customize settings it makes it very easy for you to run the edit okay now in the customize settings we can actually set up some complex stuff here so just almost the same thing we can click on any element to edit it so clicking on these elements, you can see the different sections and what they're actually doing. This section controls this section. So if I just click on this now, I can see what is actually there. So you can see uh, this date here is what is appearing here. So I can change this to Nigeria. Nigeria, my country. So you see how simple it is then all i need to do is click on publish and it's going to save so i just click publish it's going to save so here i can actually switch to different devices and see what my design looks like on mobile exactly this is very important because you have to consider designing your uh, um, website for mobile making it mobile friendly so i want to edit this book a call which is actually a text so you can see I just change it to start now then i want to have a link there so you can see how fast it changed so i want to have a link which is linking people to uh all the listings so i just copy this all listing then i'm gonna paste this here very simple so so you can see uh preview okay this is actually not what i want so let's say i want to use this which is the main site so i cut and then paste all right so i click on publish and i wanted to open a new tab so fine so i can actually design the button change the color and do whatever i want so that is for the primary menu so i can edit everything i can change my logo or you can see the width of the logo i can increase it you know i can use different it is just so beautiful the design you can do with um astra and um, and uh, elemental so i can edit this section also so i just need to click on this and all these sections are going to be edited i can change the layout i can change the menu so you can see all the we get here so this is what is actually here which if you scroll you can see it here so i can change this and just head over to my competitor look at what they are doing and i just you know copy this come back and i paste this all right so you see how simple it is i changed it now then i click on publish the effect is going to change in a very short time so i just go back so i can edit every single section i can edit this which are the social media icons i can make them to not be seen i can make them visible I can add my own social media icon so yeah, like i so so you can see how simple it is real estate visuals i can change every single thing i don't want this powered by astra team i just want it off 
then I delete it, then I publish. I don't want it there. It's not actually important. So, um, so that's just basically it. And that is how you actually, so I'll just click on cancel right now. So that is how you actually design your real estate website. So now let's head over to our front end and look at what we actually done so far. So we have our own page which tells people that we deal in real estate properties and we have um, all categories where our customers can go and select categories but we need to create them. We have all listings where people can you know check out the particular uh, properties that we are selling and we have the locations and we have the start now which takes people to their own page so this is how you design a real estate website very simple very easy if you enjoyed this video tutorial make sure you hit like and subscribe to my channel for more video tutorials like this thank you so much for your time